So we're done running the flats and the butts, and uh, we're going to run some angles with the bazooka. Uh, I already showed you guys how to advance the okay? tape. Again, you're going to want to advance it. And uh, you're going to want to put it right in the corner. And uh, this, is a, this takes a lot of uh, this thing in the back. You got to hit this thing a lot. The, uh, the, the creaser wheel. wheel. You got to really make sure you hit the creaser wheel to push. Push the tape inside the corner so that it's really creased in there. So I'm gonna take it to uh, close to the top and then I'm gonna uh, start it. And he, what he did at the top there is use the creaser wheel to finish it off because when you cut it and you do it, it's a little bit less. It's a little bit less than what. Yeah, you usually hold the creaser wheel all the way up to yeah. you're done. Like, you make yeah. sure that your hand always. Has a little bit of pressure on the creaser wheel all the time, and has, if you have pressure on it all the time, then it's it runs a little bit straighter. Yeah. It runs nicer. So cool. Again, Let's see that. One. Put it right in the corner. Go up a little bit. Use the creaser wheel to push it in the corner. Cut. And voila. So we're gonna keep going. Yeah, the tape just pulled a little bit. A little bit. My bazooka is getting low, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill it up. You know, I'm gonna push the thing to the side, put my lever on, then fill it up in here. My bucket is getting low also, so I want to make sure that the no air bubbles happen. There's always mud feeding into the into the pump, or else there'll be an air pocket. And it will put an air pocket in the bazooka, and then you'll have an air pocket and uh, dry tapes. You don't want that. So you make sure you have your hand up here to, to seal the piece. Whenever it hits your hand, it stop. Yeah, no, you got it. So there, it's, it's filled now. So we got a full bazooka. Pop that thing. Let's see if it explodes. Well, it comes out a little bit, not too bad. No, because it wasn't overfilled. Do the corner there. Okay, now we got a closet. You want to put the light? Yeah, sure. We got a closet here that we need to tape. It's got three way corners. So we need to, uh, we're going to start with the uprights. Yeah. uprights. And uh, I usually run the whole thing around every angle at once in the closet. So uh, you fold the tape like this, and you make sure that your tape can go pretty close to the other side. And then yeah, you just advance it, cut it. It's a little tricky for sure. Uh, there's tricks to doing like the back side of the closet here. My bazooka doesn't doesn't really fit. Yeah, the angle is awkward. The and bazooka it, is too big. If you look back here, his hand would, would rub against the wall, and it's just, it's a really awkward fit. So a fix for that. We're gonna, we're gonna forward the tape like this off the bazooka, spinning this thing at the same time. As you forward it, so that the mud, mud gets on the back side of You're the pushing tape. pushing up with this, with the, with the, with the advancer. The cutter. The cutter is also the advancer. Yeah. One way it cuts, the other way it advances. So uh, I'm going to get that down to close to the ground like this. That's about there. And I'm just going to put it right in the corner like this. So the top oh, half, back side. The top half was really, it's the same as the out, the outside walls that we just did, not the closet. Um, and he just runs his hand down it, pushes it in the middle for the next guy who has to roll and flush. It just, it's a lot nicer. Is there any other ways that you know about doing that, Phil? That's uh, the only... There is another way. Oh, is there? You can, uh, you can run the bazooka on the wall a little bit if you oh. want, like this. Instead. Oh, I see. So if you look here, if you look, it's actually on the one wall. And then it starts running up on the side. You, can, you have enough room for you to twist your bazooka and put it into the angle. 
Hey, just like that. And then to the top, and then you just fix this a little bit like this. Just push it over. Just push it over a little bit. That's it's good. That's a good, that beautiful thing. We got thing. the we got the back side of the closet here, which is real tough. So often, if you're a new guy, I'd say just run on the ceiling. So it's ran on the ceiling. It's not even on that on this wall right here. You just run it on the ceiling, and you just. Push it in with your hand. Fold it over. Oh. See? Just so that it rolls down. So that when my flusher goes over it. With the roller. Or sorry, the roller. It still does its job. Okay, so we're gonna finish up this closet quickly. Top angle here. Bam! Front angle. And then let's finish the last one. See? And those three ways, it actually does pretty good job of getting a, you know, a, a just amount of, of tape and mud up there. And that was my big fear using a bazooka. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a hand taper, always have been, and it was a little bit of a fear of mine, so. But, you know, I, I see that they've worked out every kink with it, is what it seems like. So, rolling flushing, Phil. Now we're going to do rolling and flushing. 